Hi, this is Scott Trudeau, Senior Solutions Consultant with Adobe Education. I would like to show you some more tips and tricks inside Photoshop. In this case, I want to show you how to select an object and remove it, remove it from its background. In this case, I have Abigail, my daughter, and she is standing there looking pretty with her sombrero on, but I'm not too sure I like the background. In fact, I'd like to take Abby and extract her from her background and place it on top of this image so that she's um, framed against the wall. So how can I do this? Well, I'm going to start off by using um, a selection tool. So over here inside my Photoshop Tools panel is the Quick Selection tool. And I'm going to activate the Quick Selection tool. And this is my go-to selection tool. I really like using this tool. And how this works is a series of clicks and you can resize this tool using the left and right bracket keys next to the P key on your keyboard. So you just tap the right bracket key to make it bigger, tap the left bracket key to make it smaller. So I'm going to get a brush about that size. I'm going to be careful not to go outside of Abigail here. I'm just going to drag across and that you can see that did a really nice job of selecting the sombrero and Abby's face. I do still have some content over here so I'm going to click a couple times kind of drag around in this area and it's looking good and what how I like to use this tool is kind of use the edge to push selection out so I'm gonna push that out push that selection out and it might be that I even have to um, make the brush a little bit smaller so I'm gonna make that smaller tapping that left bracket key we're just gonna push the selection out to incorporate Abby's sweater into the selection so this is looking good um, I'm missing her sleeve down here, so I'm going to just kind of push that out. And I'm just being careful. I'm pushing, using the edge of that little circle to push the selection. And I'm almost there. Now, this this is looking really good, except I notice that this area here is, should not be part of my selection. So you can do this a couple of ways. You can come up to the top, and up in the options area, there's this subtract from selection tool and it's got the little brush with the minus sign on it so if you activate that that's going to allow you to push that in and subtract that from the selection what i like to do though is hold down my alt key while holding down my alt or your option key notice that tool kind of toggles over into that minus area so if you look right up here i'm not even touching it i'm just hitting my alt or option key and you can see when i t hold it down it actually toggles into the minus tool or the subtract from selection tool. So I'm going to toggle that down holding down my alt or my option key. Now I'm just going to push that in. You can see it didn't take much and I saw a little bit of selection in that area so I just brushed across it. So now I have a pretty decent selection of Abby. I think I'm missing her shoulder. So I'm no longer holding down my alt key. I'm just going to push that slightly in to get her shoulder. So the better we can get our selection here the better we can refine it in another tool that I'll show you in just a minute so I'm looking around the outside of Abby it's looking really good um, might have missed some of her hair right inside this area so I can just push that out that looks nice and I don't need that shadow on her shoulder so I'm gonna come to the outside I'm gonna hold down my alt key I'm just gonna slightly push that in I went a little crazy there so I just need to hit that and it's almost like the Photoshop selection tool learns as you go so remember you're going to use a series of subtract from selection using your old option key to push that a selection out or add to selection. So once you're at this point, this selection is looking really good, we're going to refine it a little bit. So I'm going to go up to select and refine edge and our refine edge dialog box opens. And if you don't, yours does not appear as mine does at this point, it's okay. Uh, right over here where it says view, you're going to see a little thumbnail view of the picture and a little drop down arrow. You can click the drop down arrow and view it on black or a, a kind of a selection overlay. I'm going to choose on white. I think white really allows me to see what the background is going to look like with Abby in the foreground there. So from here, I'm going to go to edge detection. You're going to see a huge difference here. I'm going to click on the checkbox. And as you move this up, Photoshop goes around the edge and kind of cleans it up. In this case, I moved it up too much. You can see some of the pixels over there along her arm I didn't intend on selecting or getting. So I'm just going to drop this back. You can also use your, um, as you start to drag through here, you can use your up and down arrow keys to also move in smaller increments. 
So that's looking good. I might have gone a little too high there. And then I'll come down and smooth the selection out. And I think this is kind of akin to say Abby was a cardboard cutout. The smoothest or uh, you know cut out of plywood and we plaster a picture on the plywood. Kind of like it seems here. Smoothing is like going around that with some sandpaper and just kind of rounding the edges off a little bit. You don't want to go too far. Other than it just looks kind of fake. So we do want to take smooth up a little bit there. And feathering you can go kind of crazy on like I did there. We really don't want to go that far off. You want to be careful with feathering. Um, I think it's important to add a little bit of feathers just so it blends in nicely with the background. Of course contrast is going to crisp up that edge a little bit. Um, kind of pop that out a little. And then uh, finally I like uh, edge shift by the way will bring your selection and kind of squoosh, squish your selection in or you can include additional information outside the selection. In this case we're starting to get some pixels from that we don't want so I'm going to uh, move that edge shift and shift it inward just a tad. And decontaminate colors is also important for things like fine selections around hair. If you click on that you're going to move those uh, color fragments that may go over with your selection. Um, so we'll decontaminate that. I'm just going to leave it at about 46-50%. Now here's uh, some real magic can happen. You can come out here and just kind of with your brush, you can also resize your brush. Uh, you just come right out here from the Refine Edge dialog box. Um, use your bracket keys to change the size of your brush. And I like just kind of swooping around the hair. There I went a little bit crazy, so I might want to undo that. Just kind of hit it once. Uh, you can see some of the hair came through. Maybe click right in that area. So the selection's looking really good. If you happen to get too much, it's okay. You can just do Command-E to undo. And move across your shoulder there. Nice. So that, that's uh, really helping out that selection. And then once you're all done, just click OK. It analyzes the photo, deletes the background, and now we have a really nice selection to work with. I'm going to now go and activate the Move tool. That's that little black arrow looking tool found at the top of the tool panel. Now you can select with the arrow tool. Select on the picture, drag it up, 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 and pause on the tab of the image that you wish to push this into, and then bring your arrow down. Now, don't be scared that you don't see the photo. It's okay. All I see is a black arrow in the region that I wish to populate this with the photo. When I have that arrow around the area I'd wish to place the object in, I just simply let go. In this case, uh, I just need to change color space here. That's all right. And then now we see a uh, little Abby's been placed inside this picture. And if you want to resize it, you can. Um, with the Move tool selected, you can just click on Show Transform Controls. You're going to get a little corner handle there. I like to hold down my Shift key so that Abby stays in proportion. Her width and height stay in proportion as I drag that. So you can just Shift drag that and move that right into place. You're all happy with that. Click the little checkbox. And now we've resized Abby. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck Show Transform Controls so little handles disappear. We've placed her right inside of our photo. I also know that Abby's suffering from a little red eye, so we'll fix that up real quick. Grouped with the Band-Aid there, the Spot Healing Brush tool is the red eye tool. All you have to do with the red eye tool is kind of click in the general vicinity of the eyes. And in this case, I just clicked on the left eye and the right eye. And now we've taken Abby removed her from her background, placed her in a new project, and fixed her red eye. I do want to show you real quick, if I get the zoom tool, really zoom in on Abby's hair, how well of a job this did. As I move and walk around, you can see strands of hair and uh, individual strands of hair over here as well. So that Refine Edge tool really does an incredible job. So I hope this tutorial helped. My name is Scott Trudeau, Senior Solutions Consultant with Adobe Education.